Why Accenture? When candidates ask this question, they could be wondering whether Accenture is a good career move for them, or they could be wondering how to answer that. Why do you want to work for this firm? A question that often comes up in interviews. In this video, we are going to help you answer this question both for your interviewer and for yourself. We will also cover why do interviewers even ask the why Accenture question? Why is Accenture a great place to work? And what type of people succeed? How does Accenture compare to the MBB firms, McKinsey, BCG, or Bain? And how can you come up with a unique why Accenture response? Make sure you watch all the way to the end to hear how an ex Accenture consultant would answer the why Accenture question. Hi. I'm Jean with my consulting offer. Our company helps people from all types of backgrounds land their dream jobs at top consulting firms. We have helped over 500 clients land their jobs in consulting, and we can help you too. For example, this is how we helped Hannah get her job at Accenture. You get your resume checked out, you get your cover letters checked, but also just the support, emotional support that you get from but my consulting offer team was just something I didn't expect would help that much, but it honestly made a whole difference. My name is Hannah Kim. I studied at Northwestern University with a major in industrial engineering. If you're just joining us today, click and subscribe. So you will get new videos on landing your dream consulting job as soon as they drop. Most companies want employees who want to work for them. This leads to higher offer conversion and employee retention ratio, metrics that are important given the company has invested a lot of resources throughout the recruiting process. The why us question may be even more important when interviewing with a firm like Accenture than it is when interviewing with strategy firms like McKinsey, Bain, and BCG, the MBB firms. MBB firms know that if you get an offer, you are likely to accept because there are prestigious names to have on your resume. Meanwhile, Accenture may be worried that if you get an offer, that too may not stick with Accenture for the long term. For example, some candidates applying for internships may not get an MBB offer, but will get an offer from Accenture. They will accept, but the following year, they will re-recruit for MBB, and if they get an offer, turn down the one from Accenture. This scenario is costly for Accenture, so they want to do their best to avoid it. That being said, even though it may not be as prestigious as MBB, Accenture is still a great place to work. It's helpful to start with some context. Accenture is relatively new to the strategy consulting game. Accenture was launched in 2001 and has a history in technology implementation, but only started its strategy and consulting arms in 2014 and 2015. Moreover, Accenture has 700,000 employees, which is more than 20 times the size of McKinsey. Among those employees is tremendous diversity. Accenture has a female CEO, and it's committed to having a 50-50 male-female employee ratio by 2025. So, if having successful female role models is important to you, Accenture may be an ideal fit. By working with people from a variety of backgrounds and interests, you will broaden your perspective and have a very enriching experience. To facilitate building relationships within the firm, Accenture offers many social and networking opportunities. These include Friday night dinner, wine tastings, and corporate sports competitions. New hires are actively encouraged to attend these events to build the skills required to work effectively with clients, which is an expectation from day one. Accenture's culture is built on six core values. First, client value creation. Second, one global network. Third, respect for the individual. Fourth, best people. Fifth, integrity. Sixth, Stewardship. The first five values are quite similar across most consulting firms. They all pride themselves on having the best people so they can create value for their clients. However, value number six, stewardship, is a differentiator for Accenture. In fact, in 2019, Barron ranked it number one in its list of most sustainable international companies. Accenture is also a member of the United Nations Global Compact, the world's largest voluntary corporate citizenship initiative. Their work is evidence of this commitment to corporate responsibility. A few examples include partnering with an NGO to leverage mobile phone technology to train community health workers in Africa, hosting the summer immersion programs for the nonprofit Girls Who Code, 
to advance girls in STEM subjects, helping working parents during the COVID-19 pandemic by tripling its dependent care hours and offering caregivers reimbursement for in-home care. In your interview, you can cite the work Accenture has done to help a cause that is important to you. Explain why you are passionate about this area, what you have done about it yourself in the past, and how you would want to get involved. At Accenture, if you are applying to Accenture, the chances are you are applying to several consulting firms. It's important to recognize the differences between firms like Accenture and the MBB firms. To begin, MBB is not for everyone. While some may thrive in the competitive, best of the best environment, others find it overwhelming. That's why it's important to prioritize the right fit over prestige. Accenture's strong belief in its culture of cultures, which creates and celebrates diversity, may feel more inclusive and offer a sense of belonging to community. As for the work itself, MBB firms are known for their strategy consulting work, while Accenture does this too, especially in the United Kingdom. The firm mainly focuses on technology implementation. Let's discuss some of the differences. You can decide which type of consulting is better fit for you. In strategy consulting. You can influence some of the biggest decisions a company makes, but it could take years before you see the impact of your work. For example, let's say BCG does an M&A project for firm X and recommends acquiring firm Y. The timeline for buying the company, merging the two organizations, and then seeing the impact on the bottom line can take years. And if there's a bidding war and the client can't make the acquisition, the initiative could die completely. On the other hand, with a technology implementation project, you are seeing the change happen in front of your eyes, so the impact is easier to assess. So, if you are the type of person who likes to see a tangible outcome for the effort you have put in, Accenture may be the firm for you. Moreover, when working in implementation, you will get significant experience in change management and learn what it's like to face stakeholder resistance and how to overcome it. For example, you may encounter clients. Who are frustrated with system incompatibility or with changes to current processes? No one likes change, but managing change is critical to ensuring that actual value is delivered from many types of major projects. Now that you understand what makes Accenture unique, how do you prepare your own answer? There are four elements we recommend you focus on. First, know what Accenture is and what it isn't. As we just described, Accenture focuses on technology implementation. So you should explain why you are a strong fit for this. Second, share what elements of Accenture's culture appeal to you. We mentioned some of the diversity and corporate responsibility strengths of the firm. Explain why this is important to you and why you plan to contribute at the firm. Third, understand how your strengths align with the project work they do. Give concrete examples of your past success and explain how it will translate to consulting at Accenture. Fourth. Mention Accenture consultants you have clicked with during the networking or recruiting process, and what your shared interests were, or what you learned about Accenture from them. Authentic connections are early indications that you will be a good fit. Finally, here is an ex-Accenture consultant answering the why Accenture question. I joined Accenture in 2002. Having completed an internship with KPMG the previous year, Accenture felt more innovative and less formal than other firms. I feel that the result we achieved for the client was infinitely more important than the approach we took. The process of implementation can be challenging and involves significant stakeholder management. I found it satisfying to utilize my strong relationship building skills to help plan the change. With senior stakeholders, it was also important to me to feel confident that senior leaders valued diversity of thinking, as well as the cultural diversity Accenture prided itself on. I wanted to feel confident I could share my ideas from a place of authenticity rather than in any particular mode of a management consultant. I remember, during orientation, we were challenged to discover the middle name of one of the executive leadership team. While others began scouring the internet, I simply emailed the person in question to ask. She responded immediately and said that in all the years of doing that challenge, no one had thought to email her directly. I think the course leaders were slightly horrified, but having evidence that a senior leader welcomed innovative thinking proved to me that I had joined the right firm. As you can see. This answer is very personal, and it shows why the values Accenture prides itself on are important to the candidate. 
Moreover, the orientation challenge is a memorable antidote. While Accenture will not expect as profound of a story, if you can focus on a specific interaction you have had with the firm throughout the recruiting process, you will certainly stand out from the other candidates. So there you are, everything you need to know about why Accenture is a great place to work and how to answer the why Accenture question. And if you want to shortcut your mastery of the type of consulting interview questions you might encounter in interviews so you can land your dream offer, I would love to help you. My team and I offer an entire curriculum teaching you how to prepare for consulting interviews, including the case and fit interviews and all other consulting interviews. One-on-one -on -one coaching with former MVB interviewers who can work on your specific casing strengths and weaknesses so you feel confident when you walk into interviews. We have a proven process. In fact, here are Hannah and Rohani, two clients who landed consulting offers after working with MCO. You get your resume checked out, you get your cover letters checked, but also just the support, emotional support that you get from the, my consulting offer team was just something I didn't expect would help that much, but it honestly made a whole difference. My name is Hannah Kim. I studied at Northwestern University with a major in industrial engineering. My name is Rohani Arora. I go to college at NYU Stern. I'm a business major concentrating in marketing and computing and data science. I honestly was just a beginner. I didn't know much about consulting. They don't know what I wanted to do. My biggest worry was to not be able to catch up in time. I had a lot of faith in the program and that is why I applied. And once I did, after my first session, I just knew that this was it. My coach was genuine. My coach was brilliant. Every lesson that I attended, I gained so much out of it. I couldn't have thought that I could have learned so much in one and a half weeks. <laughs> So much and the resources that I got, I you know, you don't get them anywhere. It's very exclusive and I think they're extremely useful. You don't only learn soft skills, you also learn casing skills and these skills are going to stay with you throughout your life. So everything that I learned about consulting, I learned from my consulting offer and it was from scratch. I didn't have to read any books, just the resources that I was given by my consulting offer and uh, attended all my lessons and just worked hard with the people who were willing to work with me. And now I'm getting my offer from um, Accenture and will be working full time next year. I'm very happy and I definitely wouldn't have reached this far without my consulting offer. And I can say that without a doubt though. So very thankful and I want to say thank you to you a thousand times. Want to learn how you can get my consulting offers help to land the consulting job of your dream? For a limited time, I have asked my consulting offer team of former recruiters from Bain, BCG and McKinsey to help anyone who's watching this video on YouTube get more interviews and land more offers. When you click the link in the description box, you will be able to book a free 30-minute strategy session with one of our team members. The best part? Typically, we charge $1,000 for these strategy sessions, but until the slots run out, you can grab one of the $1,000 strategy sessions today absolutely free. All you need to do is click the link in the description box below this video and schedule your free strategy session. Our other videos can help you land your dream consulting offer. Check out our consulting behavior interview video, which provides our four tips on how to ace these interview questions. I'll see you next time.